Did the devil dogs ever fight in Europe in World War II? Man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scalps, and I want my scalps. Pete Ortiz couldn't wait to kill Nazis. While the U.S. hesitated in 1939, he joined the French Foreign Legion and got so good at stacking Nazis that he earned a battlefield commission. During a demolition raid, he was shot, captured, and endured 15 brutal months as a POW. He escaped to the U.S., joined the Marine Corps, and quickly caught the eye of Paris Island's chief of staff. One call to the commandant rocketed him from private to lieutenant, and by December, now a captain, Ortiz was back in France, leading OSS guerrilla missions behind enemy lines with a hand-picked team of devil dogs. Ortiz didn't do subtle. He'd patrol in his dress uniform to taunt the Germans. One night, overhearing them cursing the Corps, Ortiz strolled in, bought them around, then revealed his uniform and shot all three Nazi officers before vanishing. On another mission, Ortiz and five Marines parachuted into France, taking down hundreds of Nazis before being ambushed and captured. During a Spitfire attack, Ortiz escaped but returned to the camp for food. Reunited with his Marines, they were liberated by a British unit and asked to join the Brits to bag a few more Nazis before hunting season closed. Colonel Ortiz racked up two Navy crosses, a Legion of Merit, multiple Purple Hearts, the Order of the British Empire, and even France's Legion of Honor, just a few of his countless accolades. But he wasn't alone. Over 35 Marine officers and hundreds of enlisted Marines served with the OSS in Europe and Africa during World War II. Their missions were so secret, even their awards were classified until after the war. Want to learn more about our American warriors? Hit subscribe and dive into their untold stories.